Hey everyone, it's me, your girlfriend Dream, live here on a wonderful, I want to call this Wild Out Wednesday, What in the World Wednesday, I don't know, um, with, I'm Miss Atlanta Thick Dream, and it is another It's Not Easy Being Dream vlog, um, MissAtlantaThickDream.com, yours truly. It's been a minute since I, um, did a vlog, and because I've been busy with this move. Um, I'm actually sitting here in the church parking lot waiting on the kids. We're doing our end of year Bible study function. So yeah, I'm waiting on them to come out um, of the uh, little community center here at the church. Um, I had to come to you and let you know some updates. Um, the move is going smoothly. Smooth, smooth, smooth. And I am happy with um, the house, the location. Um, there's nothing that needs to be repaired. It came with everything brand new, brand, brand spanking new. Um, what else? Only thing but three light bulbs the builder left out, okay? Yeah, how could he forget that? So we got to get uh, Mr. Man over there on his job to get those three light bulbs put in because... My garage is totally black. It can't go in there at night. And I wanted to do like a little work area in the garage or something. I don't know. And put some storage in there. But I can't do that when it is totally and completely dark. My hair is a hot mess. Um, I broke two nails, which I'm not going to show you. Because they broke down to the nubs. Okay. I was moving stuff and working with chemicals. And I was supposed to have on a glove or two, and I didn't. And I've been priming walls, okay? Been in the same place for seven years, so yeah, we got some crap to throw away and some walls to prime, because your girl here is stressing, because I want to get my deposit back. You know what I'm saying? I've been there seven years, and I know for a fact that these people will try to keep some of my money, because I put an additional, what, 200 and some dollars for the direct tv um dish to go on my balcony so here's the thing i oh 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 let's talk about direct tv i have to i have to vent about direct tv right now okay so my bill is like past due 41 something dollars and i refuse to pay it i know that seems like nothing right i was tripping because they said it's 199 to move and then they don't come and remove the dish. Now, I paid cash for my dish because at the time, um, I was in a relationship. I had a live-in boyfriend. And, you know, as an accommodating and, and, and almost, you know, post step for wife type sister friend here that I am, um, trying to accommodate this situation I was in, I paid for all my equipment, okay? I didn't want to lease it. And that's just me. I don't like contract contractual things <laughs> i just made that up like um i don't like being in contracts unless it's for like a lease a mortgage um your car insurance things of that nature health insurance i like contracts for that but not really um for <sighs> renting equipment for what is the satellite dishes and stuff i don't like stuff like that anyway so um direct tv said that they weren't going to come out and they were not going to install it at my new house i was like you know what screw this um i'm gonna break my contract because i have to go on you know i live high up i have to go out there and remove it myself okay mind you two months ago i just had my heart procedure just two months ago okay and your girlfriend um is associated with some sorry sorry behind negroes in her life all right when I say sorry with a capital S, yeah, triple O, <laughs> double R, and capital Y. Sorry behind Negroes, okay? So nobody's volunteering to help me. So I have to go out and buy a drill and unscrew everything and un dismantle everything on my balcony and unhook everything, okay? So Sister Fran is getting into... Uh, what do you want to call it? Bob Vila slash electric, whatever you want to call it. I don't know, technology mode, doing all this crap. Um, and I keep looking this way because I want to make sure that no one's just in here reading my lips um, coming out of the, the, the church. Anyway, so 
I'm pissed with DirecTV. They know it. I've tweeted them. Okay, DirecTV. Me and you, you know, I've been a customer since, what, 2010 or 09? No, 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 Yeah, 2010. And four years, you're going to end our relationship like this? It's all good. It's all good. I'm just going to go with another company, and I'm just going to go back to regular cable. Um, And what else? Uh, What else? What else? What else? Okay, transferring over utilities. Um, That's been going okay. Um, getting movers, that's okay. I was going to do one of those do-it-yourself deals. No. I canceled my reservation with you, huh? And I'm not going to go out and get some of my Mexican friends. No, not going to happen. No. So, I've been using my Roxy, my, my lovely premium ride here, to transport little soft stuff back and forth from the house. Trying to get in here. Um, and I'm paying bills at two places, Okay? Okay? So do you feel me? Why well, I want to get my deposit back, all of it, 100%, okay? Because I need to get a deep freezer. Your girl need to redecorate, you know, the new foxhole, all right? We need to decorate that. Um, and I got to decorate the little kitty areas and stuff for the house. And, yeah, you know how you want new-new when you in something new? That's me. You want new-new. And I, wanna, I want the new-new. <laughs> what else um six minutes ah so much so little time i'm trying to think what else i can think of um weight loss is going good at my lowest i've been 259 and because of the cycle i get bloated from my diverticulitis i can jump up to like 262 but uh my lowest is like 259 258 so i'm in the you know high 50s right now with my weight loss yay for me blood pressure has been like 124 over 81 the highest and i i dare not to check it this week because one i've been off my diet yeah slightly have not been working out but i have been working with this move and i kind of been kind of sort of stressed um because of the move and like zero help and everybody's like isn't he gonna help isn't your family gonna help isn't that da, 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 gonna help nobody's helping me but my mini me's okay that's the reality of it all it's not easy being dream right this is the reality this is my very first move as an adult woman who's damn near <clears throat> i ain't gonna say you know yeah born in the mid 70s you figure out you do the math but this is my first move as a single parent and a you know a wifey without the husband this is my first move into my own place now this place that i was coming from foxhole the main foxhole that i had you know um the hubby used to live there for a, a little bit you know but it was everything was all in my name but this is like the single lady pad, you know, uh, kids, they get their own space now. We're not all crammed. We get our own privacy and stuff. Um, it's a, it's a blessing. And I think, I thank God for getting me to this. It's like, I manifested this house. Uh oh, lights off. I manifested this house a long time ago because I remember like me and uh chief were going into this house like I would come I came into the driveway and every time I was looking at a house I'm like no this is not the house this is not it this is not it because the driveway would be on the other side but when I got to that house I'm like this is my house because I had in the in the vision that I had remember I told you I get those spidey senses you know I'm kind of like you know gifted and in that little premonition that I had uh his car was in the driveway and I was coming up. I don't know why I just came in from checking the mail or whatever. I don't know what the situation was, but um, yeah, I can see that and that has happened. So it's like, wow, my spidey sense is good looking out. Also, let's see, and they're about to get out of here shortly because I see a whole bunch of the sister friends walking out of here waving their hands like, yeah, girl, it's over. Church is over. These baby kids can go home. Mm-hmm. Gotta see them on Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> That's what they doing over there. Um, dang. So, my mind is going like 100 miles an hour. Thinking about the movers. Thinking about replacing broken mini blinds. Throwing out old furniture. Buying new furniture. Um, gathering up and putting away stuff that I don't need. Where am I going to put it when I get to the new house? Um, cause I don't, I don't go in no attic. 
I don't want to go in no attic. And why the scene will keep going on? I don't want to go in no attic. I don't want to go in no attic. And I'm probably going to try to make like a little storage area in um, my garage. Like put one of those little, you know, closet made type deals in there. But anyway, I'm trying to think of something juicy to sh to dish with you. Um, We did manage to christen the uh, new um, foxhole glare. Um, the day that I got the keys, uh, that was splendid, but I want to do it with key, with, with furniture and, um, it's going to be different and I almost want to just grab the iPad from him and start recording and we're both trying to compromise on what level our relationship is going to because I did give him my formal resignation. Um, I said I wanted to be done with him on the 1st of June and he, he, he ain't letting that happen, y'all. He ain't letting that happen. He ain't letting his sweet, his sweet baby go. But anyway, the kids are coming. I'll keep you guys posted, okay? All right, kisses. Bye. Signing off, Miss Elena Thickdream.